Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to talk about file cabinets and storing your, you can call it your survival pantry, your emergency pantry, your homestead pantry, uh, storing your extra food. I have totally gone over to these metal cabinets for a few reasons. First of all, um, I, I like it because if the room you got them stored in, you don't have to worry about dusting them because all your cans are protected. Yeah, if you do have a fire or you have to shoot off a fire extinguisher or a hose or in, in that building, um, your, your food is protected. If you have a few file cabinets in an area where you have people, neighbors come over, uh, very hard to see what's inside that cabinet. And you could lock that cabinet if you have to, so people can't see what's in it. I, I like the file cabinet. I am 100% set on it. You can also, um, if you have a bunch of them, you can bolt them together. So in case of a tornado, a lot harder for it to get picked up. A major tornado is going to pick it up, uh, but it will help. If you can find an auction site, that's the best place to get them because sometimes you can get them a lot cheaper. So don't go out and buy brand new file cabinets. It's ridiculous. You just look. A lot of places, uh, schools, universities, businesses, they sell them. And if they're selling file cabinets, there's two different types. There's the old-fashioned kind like that. And then there's the, the lateral file cabinets. I like them both. Uh, they got pros and cons. But this is how I'm storing some of my, my extra pantry food. Um, let me show you this right here because some of them comes locked. I just took a drill and drilled that out. I need to remove that because that's a little sharp. So if it is locked, don't panic. Take you a big drill and just drill through that lock and it will release it. Uh, it has never failed on me. I'm going to show you the lateral one so you know what you're getting. A lot of times the top drawer will pull out. Um, I know people are going to comment, you got a bunch of junk food. Yes, I do have junk food. This is comfort food. And you better have it. You're going to get sick and tired of rice and beans and oatmeal. So usually the lateral ones will come open on the top like that and then the rest will just pull out. You see how easy it is to store stuff? I haven't labeled mine because there's actually another auction coming up and I'm going to buy some more um, and then I'm going to do a little rearranging. I'm addicted to file cabinets and these metal types of cabinets uh, probably have over 40. I know I need to go and get some assistance and help, uh, but they work so good for tools, for supplies, uh, to bedding, to clothing. Uh, they work and they're very affordable. Um, the, the last one... I paid, I think, a dollar for that one, or it could have been that one. It was unbelievable. But they averaged me about $10 to $15 a piece. That's what they average around here. But you can get so organized. I'm going to put uh, on the outside little stickers so I know what they're in. And really, that's for my wife's benefit because I pretty much know what I have. Um, this is my pantry, and she has her pantry in the house, so we take from this pantry and we put into her pantry so I can keep her well stocked. And she likes it. She never runs out of anything, that's for sure. Uh, but this drawer is just some fruit. Let me show you these type of cabinets. These are really good for big containers, um, glass cleaner, big things. It's so easy to find something. I like this so much better than just the set of shelves. I had a bunch of shelves and they weren't good, but you know, they, they look messy sometimes. And this does not look messy when you shut the door. Plus, if people come over, nobody knows what you have. Now they make the two drawer lateral ones too. Um, but you look how much stuff you can get in here. This is a lot of baking stuff. I have started labeling the top. I used to label the side when I bought it, but because I'm using file cabinets now instead of shelves, I'm starting to label the top. This is just tomato products, from tomatoes to uh, sauces, whatever it is. So see, you can get really, really, really organized. The old style works good too. This is pasta. So I got room right there. I can buy another pasta and put in here. Um, and that's sort of my indicator. Now, this is not my long-term number 10 cans, mountain house. Um, this is not that. This is from here, it goes into the house. Baking stuff. And you just go on and just whatever you want. Ketchup, 
mustard, all kinds of sauces that you need. You can store a ton of food and supplies in these cabinets. So if you have the ability to buy them, these will beat open shelves any day and people cannot see what you got. Um, most of the times you do not get locks with these. Or excuse me, you get the locks, but you don't get the keys. Occasionally, maybe one out of four have a key. So if you do get a key, you can use that one for more sensitive items that you don't want people to see. So get your stuff stored, get it organized. When you get organized like this or whatever means you use, uh, you can see where you're short in. A lot of people were probably short on gasoline in the last couple weeks. Um, don't get short on food. If you got any questions on file cabinets, shoot them to me. Um, I have found this the best way to store survival supplies or just your everyday pantry uh, items that you don't have in your house or you have in the basement. Thanks for watching.